Hi guys. So if you've um, watched a few of my videos, you've probably seen my crap box. It's just a tiny little box. Um, it used to be a huge box, but um, I cleared it out and I made a tiny little box and I vowed that it would not overflow and it would not get too full. But this is the little crap box I keep on my desk, on the side, end of my desk, and little bits of anything go into it. Like, this is a bit of, I don't know, <laughs> it's like some sort of fake leather or something that I've been making some soft cover journals out of. It's a little strip off that, and I don't know. I can't put it in the bin. I need to use it on something. Um, bits of paper. You know, when you trim your papers down to size. We've all got these. These little things. Oh my god, these are the little encoding, the little barcode things off letters. In Australia, a lot of the letters, when they go through the machine, they get these little strips on them. Um... Little coffee dyed papers. Look how cute that is. I can't put that in the recycle bin even. Um, yeah. Even little bits of magazine that I've used an image out of for something. If it's got a nice little piece. See, look at that. I couldn't get rid of that because that's really cute. That can go in a rustic kind of journal. Um, oh, you name it, it's in here. This is the end of the tape roll. You know where it's got... You reach the very end and in the middle it's got the bit that it's no longer sticky. But look how pretty it is. I'll just sew that down the side and make a little tuck pot, uh, tuck spot on the end of a page. But yeah, you get the idea. It's all sort of, it's not just papers in here as well. It could be any little piece of rubbish that I come across that I chuck in here. Anyway. What I thought I'd do is start, well, I do use stuff out of here every day, but I put more in than I use out. I mean, these bigger strips, these are easy to use. Um, but these little bitty, bitty pieces, they're the, <laughs> they're the problem ones. And I don't know if a lot of people keep these, but, but I do. Um, I think they're really good when you use them as little in little collages and clusters and that sort of thing. So what I thought I'd do, um, here and there, I might just, when I go on a mission to empty out some of my um, crap box, I might just show you a few little things that, um, I mean, maybe people have done them before or you've done them before, but I just thought I'd show you a few little things that I do out of my crap box that... Um, you know, maybe you can get some ideas and help you get rid of some of your little scraps so they don't end up in the bin. So, um, I don't know if I've shown these before. I have a feeling I have because I used one in a journal that I might have done a flip through. But um, one of the things I do make out of these little strips um, are these teeny tiny little envelopes and they're like super duper cute to put in your journals they're all different shapes and sizes I mean this one's a little narrow guy some are wider some are fat but they just um, open up like that aren't they cute like so easy to make and that little tiny scrap is then used for something. And they're so cute. I really love them. They just close like that. And all you do, take your little scrap. It, um, I don't know the size of this. Just take any little size. And this one has some lines along the top because... Um, my photocopy paper, I don't buy photocopy paper, I don't buy any paper unless I find it at a charity op shop or a recycle centre. Um, 
my photocopy paper mostly comes from my husband's um, work from in their photocopy room. You know, if you work in a big office, um, you always have a photocopy room with a recycle bin in there. And um, most big offices in Australia, they'll have like two recycle bins. One for confidential stuff, which goes to, um, you know, a company will come and pick up every so often and it goes for shredding and then another general recycle bin which goes out in the you know in the usual recycle paper so the stuff in the non-confidential bin he and and it, when i say bin all that's in there is um photocopy paper so he'll um every now and then bring me a little stack of those and <laughs> when i find a page like you know this that is blank and empty that i can uh, coffee day the whole page it's like yeah, it's like winning the lottery because a lot of the pages have um, printing on them. But usually it's a bit of printing down the end of, you know, like this. This page um, only had a little bit of printing on the top or bottom and the rest of the page is blank. So most journals, you end up cutting down papers anyway. So um, when you see photocopy paper in my journals... Yeah, that's not store-bought. It's, you know, rescued papers. Actually, everything in my journals are rescued. But so little pieces like this, it doesn't matter if it's got a bit of writing or a line or whatever. Um, in fact, I quite like when there's a few words here and there. But just fold the little guy over into three. And you don't even have to make sure it's, um, you know, the same as the last one. They don't have to be the same. Folding over. I was going to make one for you, but they're super easy. But look, <laughs> last night I broke my punch. I was up late and I couldn't sleep and I thought I'd make some little guys. And um, I broke my little heart punch. Because he's been overworked. But um, yeah, I'll have to get another one. But all you do, fold the little page into three punch a little heart or if you don't have a little heart punch just cut one out or use something else i do have a little key punch and i was thinking maybe i could put a little key there instead of a little heart until i get another heart one but i do like the look of the heart ones and um just glue the heart on halfway and leave half of it without glue and that's what you tuck the little top flap under so and then just ink the edges. I like inking um, the the folds as well because I think it gives it a nice rusty vintagey look. Ink the edges, ink the folds, and that's it. It's um it's definitely one of those jobs you want to do in front of the TV because <laughs> inking the edges of these little hearts um, is a bit. It's fun at first, but then it becomes a bit annoying because they're so little and I'm so blind. Um, but yeah, do it in front of the TV or something. It's it's one of those things that you do while you've got nothing else to do. But yeah, they're quite cute. Look at this little guy. Some of the ink ran. So he's a bluish colour, but super cute. Look how delicious they all look together. Look at this little guy. He's so little. Anyway, I thought I'd share those. You've probably made them before or seen them before. Um, but nice and easy. They look super cute in your journals. I don't usually stick them down. I just tuck them um, into a little top corner spot. I don't have a journal here with me but you know imagine this was your journal page if you have a little triangle teeny little triangle on the top of the page and just tuck them up under there i don't know or write a little note in them and stick them in your husband or boyfriend's wallet i don't know i just think they're super duper cute this guy's longer anyway that's it so that's one way to use your little strips and um as i make um, little things like this um, I'll just um, 
I mean, you may think they're really basic. Why do you need to be shown? But sometimes, like, um, you may not make this, but this may give you an idea to make something else. Do you know what I mean? Like, maybe you will make this and put it onto something else. But, um, so I'll show you as I make um, little things out of my scrap box. And I will <laughs> hopefully get this little scrap box down within a week or two because... I hate when it's overflowing on my desk. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.